In this video, let's create this 3D practice drawing with AutoCAD. The drawing file of AutoCAD PDF and an image containing this drawing is included in the description box. So you can click the link in description box and download all the files related to this video. Let's start with drafting an annotation workspace here. So when you start, you'll be in drafting an annotation workspace most probably. But for making a 3D drawing, you need to switch your workspace to 3D modeling. So click on 3D modeling from this drop down menu. If you're not able to see this drop down menu, you can also switch your workspace from this gear icon. So click on this gear icon and change it to 3D modeling. Once you're in 3D modeling workspace, start with the origin. So pan your drawing so that origin comes towards the center of this screen. Now let's select circle enter 0 comma 0 as the origin and press enter now make a circle with radius equals to uh, let's say 21 unit and press enter now depending upon the limits of your drawing area your circle may be very large or very small so zoom in or zoom out accordingly to adjust it now after you have made adjustments let's click on circle again click on the same center point make another circle and now enter a diameter value of 35 and press enter now let's go and make the third circle so click on circle again select the same center point and this time make a circle with radius of 12 units so we have these three circles now let's click on this home icon Let's go to extrude now. Select extrude and click on this last circle and press enter. Now enter a depth of minus 16 units. So press minus 16 on command line and press enter. Now go to this visual style control and change it to shaded. So you can clearly see now visual style and let's turn this off so we don't need this grid so let's turn this grid off now select press pull and click this area which is completely inside and now drag it completely downwards again go to this concentric circle and now enter a value of minus 12 unit and press enter now press enter again to exit this command you can erase this circle the circle is no longer needed now okay so we have made this now let's go to free orbit and we need to add a fillet towards this edge so go to solid tab select fillet edge click on radius and change radius value to two units press enter now click on this edge and press enter twice so we have added radius also now since we have added radius let's go and add other details to this drawing so click on this top view and let's rotate it so that north points on the top so click here so that north points on the top and make it in its default condition go to this hide and isolate icon and click on hide objects Click on this geometry which we have created and press enter. So this will hide the geometry from our current drawing view. Now go to home. Don't worry the drawing is not at all deleted. It's still present and will bring it back when required. Now go to circle command again and go to the center. And this time we'll make another circle and the circle should be of diameter 48 units. So type D enter and 48 as the diameter now we don't need this circle so let's delete this circle and we need to make another circle with a smaller diameter value and that diameter is 42 units so let's go to circle click on the center and make a circle with diameter d for diameter and 42 so here we have another circle with diameter of 42. Now we need to divide this external circle 
with the division of 6 units. So for dividing this circle in a division of 6 units, we need to go to this draw panel, expand it and expand this multiple points option and select measure. Now select this object which is the outer circle and enter length of 6 units as the segment length and press enter. So now the circle has been divided into segments of 6 units. Type P type on command line, press enter and change point type to this cross. Now at every intersection you will see a point which is added to this and now it will be seen more clearly. Let's go to line command now. Click on the center and join any two points which are adjacent to each other. So let's join these two points. Now we need to make some adjustments on this. Before making adjustments, we need to delete the points which we have created. So you can now select all of these points and make sure that you only select these points and don't select this line. As you can see that this line has been selected. So to deselect it, press and hold shift key and click on this and click on this. Now press delete and all the points are deleted. Now go to trim, press enter and now let's trim this outer circle. We don't need it. We also don't need this outer circle and obviously we don't need these two lines as well. So we have this portion. Now make a complete window, press J and enter. Now we have joined this into a single unit or a single polyline. Let's go to polar array, select our object, press enter. Now click on the center and make an array with 12 objects. So type 12, press enter. Now make sure associative checkbox is not selected. So if you see that this checkbox is selected like this, click on this and uncheck, is, uncheck it. This is very important step. If you don't keep it deselected, then you won't be able to make changes which I'm going to do next. So make sure this associative button is unchecked. Now click on close array and again click on this home icon. Now we need to unisolate or we need to bring back objects which we have isolated or which we have hidden. So click on that object isolation button and click on end object isolation. Now go to extrude and select all these geometries using a selection window and press enter. Now we need to enter a depth and this depth should be equal to minus 12 units. So type minus 12 on command line and press enter. So here we have this geometry complete. One more final detail needs to be added and that detail is joining it into a single unit because right now these are separate units. So for joining them into a single unit, go to this boolean operation, select this solid union and select all the geometries at once and press enter. And now we have a completely single solid unit. I hope this video was clear to you. If you have any doubts or questions, let me know in the comment box and don't forget to hit like and subscribe this video. There's a lot more to come from SourceCAD. Thanks for watching.